Hey YouTube, MC Rocket here. Today I'm gonna clean and lube the chain on my motorcycle. Now, to do this, there are three basic things you need. Chain cleaner, chain lube, a grunge brush, and some good music. Alexa, play 80s rock. Here's a playlist you might like. 100 Greatest Hair Metal Songs on Amazon Music. Welcome back to the channel everyone. So last week I was on vacation, you guys saw a little bit of that. We've been home for almost a week now and I apologize that I didn't really post much towards the end of the vacation. It was a lot of just stuff. The reason we went up to Washington was um, for my wife's family reunion. So we spent a lot of time at my wife's brother's house with her family and I just didn't really think that that was going to be stuff that that you'd be interested in but there were a few other things that I did uh, record with my phone that if I get time I'll post them on YouTube but anyway so we're here to now oh, geez flies anyway we're <laughs> we're here to clean and lube the chain on my motorcycle now this is something that should be done um, every few hundred miles you can consult your manual to see what they recommend um, this is being done on, on a 2019 Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R and my manual recommends doing it every 400 miles. Now if I did it every 400 miles I'd be doing it every like few days. Uh, I put a lot of miles on this motorcycle. It's my commuter bike, it's my fun bike. Uh, I, do, I do it um, anywhere between four and 500 miles. Um, if I look at my trip meter, it was almost 500 miles the last time I did it. So yeah, we're, we're doing okay. Um, there are a number, th number of things that I do when I clean and lube my chain. Um, for starters, I, as you can probably see, I put mine on a front and rear stand. Um, it does a couple of things for me, gets it up off the ground a little higher, a little easier to work on, but it also allows me to move my back wheel freely. Um, you don't have to do it this way, but um, my previous bikes, I didn't have these stands and I would have to uh, like clean a section of my chain, push the bike a few feet, clean a section of my chain, and that just made it real cumbersome. So with this, when I bought this bike, I also bought some stands so that I didn't have to do it that way anymore. Uh, another thing that I check, now this bike has been running for a few minutes, so uh, just to get it warmed up and get the, the oil moving in the inside the engine. Um, Another thing that I do when I do this is I check the oil level on my bike. Um, this, this is something that you do, there's a little window right here at the bottom of the right side of your engine and obviously if you don't have a, a ZX6R, this might vary on your bike where that, that little window is. But here, I'm gonna grab the camera here and I'm gonna show you. So there's this little window right here, it's right here, and you can see there's, there are a couple lines there, I'm hoping you can see that, and um, you can see the oil levels right at the top of the line. So that's really what you want. You want to make sure that after your engine's been running for a few minutes, prop your bike up or or pick your, your bike up, make it, make it you know, straight, perpendicular to the ground, and then you check that oil level, make sure that your oil level's good. So then I clean the chain. So let's get started with that process. 
So here I am getting down and dirty with my motorcycle. Um, I've got my my chain loop here. The the chain or chain cleaner. I'm sorry. The chain cleaner I use is the Maxima Racing Oils Cleanup Chain uh, Chain Cleaner. Um, I've used this for years. Uh, it was recommended to me years ago by a mechanic at uh, a dealership where I bought my last motorcycle. So I just kind of shake this up a little bit, make sure it's good and shook up, and then I get to work. Now you see the my chain looks pretty clean already. It's because I, I do this religiously um, as often, as, I try to do it as often as I should. I'm not 100% perfect on that, but you know, time restraints and everything. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your chain cleaner. Here, I'm actually gonna move the camera just a little bit so you can see the the rear sprocket as well a little bit better. There we go. And what a lot of people will do is they'll use a piece of cardboard to kind of kind of shield their um, their wheel and their other parts from getting sprayed. Um, you're you're going to be you're going to be spraying this stuff off with water anyway. Um, so you know if this is just an extra cumbersome step for you, you don't necessarily have to do it. I just prefer to. So I'm going to kind of spray things down here. And then I'm gonna take my grunge brush and you'll notice that it's kind of a, a three-sided brush and that's perfect for getting in there and just kind of scrubbing all sides of your chain. And I make sure I get the top side too. And then what I typically do is I spray it off with, with water. Um, even the, uh, the, the instructions on the can tell you to just clean it off with, with some clean water. So I'm just kind of spray that off. And look how shiny it is. So then I move my wheel, since I have it up on my stand, I move my wheel a little bit so that I can get to the next section of chain. If you don't have your bike on a stand, you can always just push your bike forward a little bit or, or push it backward to expose another section of chain. And of course, not paying attention, I got my uh, cardboard all wet. That's okay, it'll still serve its purpose. Take my grunge brush and make sure I get it clean on all sides and spray it off. And you'll repeat this process until you get all of your chain clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll see you again in just a few minutes. All right, now that I'm done with that, I uh, typically like to clean my grunge brush and give it like just a real quick spraying. Uh, this chain cleaner washes away cl pretty clean um, and doesn't really leave much of a film behind. So that's why I'm doing it here at the edge of my garage because as I've, uh, as I've talked about in some of my other videos, it's hot here in southern Utah. So I like to uh, try and do things in the shade if I can. Um, another thing that I typically do, look at my sprocket here again. Uh, my sprocket is a little bit dirty, so I'll often kind of spray that off too a little bit. And take the, the end of my grunge brush here and just kind of brush that off a little bit and do the same kind of thing where I, I move it and, 
and get an, another section. So I'm gonna do that now. There we go. So my sprocket, at least this side of it, of it is nice and clean. You don't really have to do that. Um, the sprocket itself doesn't have any uh, any like internal moving parts like the chain does. Uh, so you don't really have to clean the sprocket. The sprocket, but I clean this side of it just so it looks clean, like like my chain does. Um, the reason we clean and lube the chain is we got to keep dirt from getting into the uh, the rubber seals um, between the links. Um, that'll prolong the life of your chain. While we're still looking at my chain, another thing that I do is I check the tension on the chain. Um, and there should be a little bit of bounce to your chain, a little bit of, I don't want to call it slack, but just some play for your, with your chain. Um, you can check your, your owner's manual to see how much play there should be. Um, they usually recommend between somewhere between one and two inches. Um, I like to keep my chain a little bit on the tighter side of that spectrum, just because that keeps down the, when you let go the throttle, keeps the bike from lurching forward as much. And likewise, when you, when you grab the throttle, keeps it uh, from, from jerking as much on the takeoff. Um, that's just what I prefer, uh, but you can do it to your liking. Uh, just keep within those guidelines that the, uh, the owner's manual recommends. So now I'm just gonna kinda clean off the other end of my grunge brush that I was using and just kinda give things another spraying here on the bike. And So now, now that we've got everything clean, we want to go ahead and lubricate the chain. And you pretty much do the same thing when you lubricate the chain. You spray a section, and you move the chain, spray another section, etc., etc., etc. And we like to use same brand Maxima Racing Oils. This is chain wax. And again, this was recommended to me by a mechanic at the last dealership where I, I bought my last motorcycle. Um, so I'm gonna put up my little guard here. And the reason I do this, I like to keep oils and stuff off of my tire as much as possible. Granted, I can always you know, spray it off of my tire and it's gonna get worn off of my tire as I ride, but I, I'd just rather not, uh, I'd rather minimize the amount of oils and stuff that goes onto my tire. So I'm going to just spray a section of the chain here. Move the, the wheel, spray another section. Move. And I'll keep doing this until I've gotten to the entire chain. This will leave like a little kind of a, a bronzish color on, on your chain, a bronzish film. And that's what you want. You want it to, to get down into those, those O-rings and in, in between the links. And so I'm getting to the end of my chain here. I've lubricated the entire thing now. So I'm gonna just kind of spray my hands off a little bit because I got a little bit on my hands. This stuff will leave a little bit of a film so I spray it off of my carport. Because obviously it's a lubricant so it's meant to stay on the thing that you're applying it to and lubricate it. And I'll usually take a rag and just kind of wipe off the excess from the chain. Obviously you want to leave some there, but it doesn't need to be as, uh, it doesn't need to be dripping with chain wax. So that ought to do it. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now I can go another four to 500 miles without having to worry about it. In fact, 
Um, my wife and I are planning on taking the bike out tonight to Zion National Park. Um, probably not going to film that, but I will go through Zion with you guys and just kind of show you the coolness that is Zion uh, and why it's fun to ride a motorcycle there. So for now, until next time, uh, just remember to uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and click the bell so that you're notified anytime I upload new content. Also, I have a Facebook page that you guys are invited to go to and like. Um, I like to post video, other videos and motorcycle memes there. Um, so feel free to go there and check that out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this has been uh, instructive to anyone that maybe uh, is new to riding or uh, um, you know hasn't really thought about their chain. Uh, just remember the chain is a very integral component of your motorcycle. It's what drives your back wheel for dang sake. So until next time, remember life is more fun on two wheels and ride safely.